What is going on you lot? Welcome back. Today we're talking, I say we because me and George are doing this as a collab. After you watched the video it would mean a lot to me if you could go and check out George's channel. I watch all the videos every time she uploads. I've watched all of them, she makes me happy. And hopefully we'll be able to do a face to face collab at some point this year. That'd be amazing. Hi guys, my name's Georgia. Basically, me and Lydia are doing a collaboration and I've knew her for quite a long time now since I started YouTube. But she makes videos about mental health and loads of other different things and I really enjoy them and it does give you a massive insight on which people don't talk about these days and raises awareness and obviously she tells you basically how to like overcome these things and her experiences. Um, but yeah, today we're doing a video together. Things were never got told while growing up and um, I make reaction videos, so if you like those, please go and check them out. I'm also doing like another different range of videos. I don't just all want them to be like reactions, obviously. I want to like go through different categories. So yeah. Don't let me drown. So today we're talking about things we never got told growing up. And because I'm a mental health channel, I'm going to keep mine themed around my life which is tragic, as you all know. There's gonna be some light-hearted ones, some dark ones, so be prepared. So things I never got told as a kid was the, I never got taught about mental illness as a kid, and that was a big thing. That's a big thing in my life now. And it was never part of like education for me. It was never taught me by my parents. I knew, I knew briefly what mental health was. I didn't know about mental illness. I didn't know about the whole process. I didn't understand it. And to me, that is something that every kid should be taught, just to be like part of the community, respectful, understanding, Understand what other people are going through. It's a big part of empathy, so you can empathise with other people. If I'd have been taught about things, I would be able to identify things that were leading to the diagnosis and get help a lot sooner. I think that would have been a big, big help. So that's one thing I never got taught mental illness. Never got taught about it. I got taught a message from Georgia. Focus on my face. So the second thing I never got told as a kid was self harm isn't normal. Like I've been self harming now. Not well. The most recent that has helped me was when I was in hospital. For me, it's been a lifelong thing. I have hurt myself in different ways since the age of around six. Played it off, I was like, oh no, it's just, you know, little things, it's no big deal. In reality, it's a pretty intense thing to do at such a young age as well. Like Another thing I never got told when I was a kid was that there's like phases to growing up. Like, obviously when you're a kid and you go through puberty, I never got taught anything about that by my family at all. It caused a lot of issues for me. I got, I, it, it, it was hard to learn about periods and shit. Like, stuff like that, I didn't know anything about. I was terrified when I started mine, and because no one talked to me about it, I didn't know what to do. And I was, I was a shy kid. I didn't say anything to anyone. Another thing I never got told as a kid is that life sucks sometimes. It really does. When I was a kid, no one ever taught me about, like, world politics. No one taught me about like mental health like I said earlier. No one taught me about illnesses. No one talked to me directly about my own health. No one talked to me about terrorist attacks. No one talk, taught me about anything that was going on in the world. They kept me very shielded and protected from that and for that reason I didn't really grow up at the normal speed of everyone. I was still playing with Bratz dolls and Barbies until I was about 15. Fucking embarrassing thing but hey I was doing that until I was 15. I didn't mature at the same age because I didn't get taught about anything and that is one of the key reasons I think I got bullied throughout school. I didn't get taught about the world really. Another thing I never got taught about and I've made a video talking about this before was about the dangers of the internet. I've had a laptop of my own since I was about eight or nine. When I was using MSN with strangers so you do whole ASL which was age sex location and you talk to these strangers and give it out and it was so dangerous. I've made a video talking about this in a story time and I'll link that in the description down below I remember. I probably won't. I never really remember. I always got told to like conform to standards of like their society, like what they wanted me to do. Oh it was my hair, like grow my hair, have it caught, do this, that. I never got told taught about self-expression and I think that may have been one of the reasons why I did self-harm so young. The same thing with music though. Here's another thing, like when I was when I was growing up, I never really knew about the difference in music. So I just listened to stuff I watched on TV, which at the time for me was Disney Channel, because like I said earlier, I was very like behind the times <laughs> when I was growing up. So I would listen to Hannah Montana, fucking like high school musical, thinking I was cool. And then one day in business studies, my headphones came out of the laptop and this was like playing everyone laughed and I didn't understand why. I never got taught about alcohol. Like I knew all about drugs, so my drug use was well informed and bad decision don't do drugs kids they are bad so i got 
brought up thinking that drinking was okay. My mum had a drink every night, that was okay, so when I started drinking alcohol when I was 18, I never drank before I was 18, mainly because of all the medications I was on. As a kid I was on medication briefly because I have an issue with my nose. My nose goes that way rather than straight down, meaning I can't use this side of my nose at all, it doesn't do anything. Yes, I can have an operation to deal with that. I tried all the steroids and all the medications to help that to no avail. I can have an operation to do it, but I can live with it. I am used to not having a, that side working. It, it's normal for me. You know, I can I can deal with that. But I also had issues where I'd have seizures, and this is a really important subject that I've never covered on my channel before. And um, when I started drinking, it got into very intensely. I jumped in way too quickly and collapsed in the middle of the street. I wish I could be more aware of alcohol use and safe levels and what's not safe, what's safe to do, what's not. One of which I'm not happy with, to put it simply. I don't even know what I was to wait, I've just completely disconnected from everything. What? I don't film a good video, I can see the camera. What the fuck? What am I doing? My laptop's in saving mode. Oh god, how long was I frozen for? I wish I'd been taught more about like safe alcohol use and safe partying, like rather than just don't drink or drink a little bit, because that doesn't mean anything to someone who never drank. Another thing I never got taught as a kid or growing up was how important being myself is. And I know I've covered this already in this video, but how important it is to just be myself and show that and expressing it through social media. And I know some people are against social media and don't use it, that's all good, that's fine, you do you. For me, social media has been the one thing that has brought me up when I've been down, it's helped when I've been depressed. And so this is a collaboration with Georgia. Yeah, I'm done with this. I, I will see you guys very soon with a new video. I make videos pretty much every single day. I've got loads of videos like I've lined up to edit. My laptop's playing up with memory, so bear with me. <laughs> Please been nice hanging out with you guys. If you didn't know, I have a Patreon. It's linked at the end of this video. I also make videos every day, so maybe subscribe to me. So yeah, that's it for this video. Like I said, subscribe, thumbs up, comment. Yeah, no, the drill. I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.